Good morning, everyone. It is time for morning prayer and devotion. In fact, it is past time. My apologies for coming to you a few minutes late here this morning. Uh, really no excuse for it except just uh, trying to get things together and uh, updating the prayer request and just didn't get it all done in time this morning. But I'm glad that you're here with me. Uh, Marcia has asked me to uh, let everyone know that uh, she is going to be on a cruise this week, so she won't be able to log in with us throughout the week. So no need to be alarmed about her. Uh, she will check in as she is able to do so and rejoin us next week once she's home from their trip. Uh, good morning to each of you. Um, I do have a couple of praise reports to share with you. Paul Swinney, who is recovering from recent back surgery, uh, was initially in a lot of pain. He is now sitting up and doing much better, so we give God praise for that. Uh, Kristen reported Friday that her friend Ann has been able to be back at church, and also that Christine's brain tumor is treatable. We are giving God praise for these victories and agreeing for complete healing in Jesus' name. Uh, two ladies who uh, began attending our church here, I guess about four, five, six months ago, um, precious ladies here from our community, uh, Terry and Kay, uh, I noticed they weren't in the service last weekend, didn't think much about it because uh, of the holiday, and then they weren't in church again today. Well, they called and had left a message for me uh, during the service. Uh, Terry has been sick with a croupy cough for the past week or so. And uh, we prayed together over the phone yesterday afternoon, and she wanted me to add her to the prayer list as well, as she's really struggling uh, with this respiratory illness. Um, also, her case friend Cody Kent in Ca Catalina, Arizona, a tree trimmer, he fell 40 feet while working. Uh, we don't know any details of his injuries, only that he was taken to the emergency room uh, for treatment. So let's lift up that need as well. Uh, Terry Nelson has been battling severe cold symptoms for several days as well. Uh, Finn Walker battling respiratory illness. So a lot of stuff going around right now. And of course, we've heard reports of a new respiratory illness um, coming out of China. No surprise uh, there, I guess. But um, we need to pray that this will not be anything uh, serious or as much difficulty treating as COVID was initially. Uh, we need to pray for Pat Wells' husband, Les. He's been running high fever and having trouble breathing after having a reaction to black walnut sawdust while milling logs. They've been treating him with steroids and antibiotics. Uh, we continue praying for Jessica Lopez with recent abnormal findings on her mammogram. Uh, Cheryl Lachance's uncle with health issues. Marshall Link uh, with uh, tropical fungus from missionary work overseas. Randy Reeves recovered from brain trauma. Pat Wells' son, Robbie, with extreme blood clots and uh, complications due to TBI in the past. Eddie Potts being treated for his open hip wound and needing surgery on his shoulder. Continue to pray for Jamie Jo's cousin, Maisie, who has a brain tumor, and also for Jamie Jo herself needing healing of a broken foot. Uh, Darling, Virginia, continue their precautionary treatments. Uh, let's keep lifting them up. Let's remember uh, Maggie Lowry, a new name just added to our list uh, this morning. She's been diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Uh, she can hardly walk and is having therapy because of Guillain-Barre syndrome already. And then now this new diagnosis. She has two small children, so she's in great need of a miracle today. Lynn Lawrence recently diagnosed with bone cancer and given a short time to live. Uh, Marsha's co-worker's aunt on chemotherapy and needing salvation. Murphy Belgard with cancer all throughout his body. Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Kenny Burns, Amy Dees, Cheryl, Diane, Heather, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Michelle Strang's sister, Cindy, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Valerie, Kristen's friend, Betty, Ari Bowers, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, Julia Nelson, uh, all dealing with cancer. Jim Ramey has spots on his lungs, believed to be cancer. He also has congestive heart failure. So we pray for him in this regard today, as well as all the others with heart issues, including Doyle Mitchell, Jenny Perkins' dad, who, by the way, doing much, much better 
um, after being treated medically and does have an upcoming appointment with an electrophysiologist uh, to determine uh, the viability of another ablation procedure. Robin Felver, Holly, Amy Dees, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Mark Morris, Kelly B., Janie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, David Duggar, Bud Taylor, Dawn and Betty Cossey, Jimmy Warren, and Michelle Strain's mother with heart issues. Let's remember those who are dealing with diabetes, uh, those uh, continuing to battle shingles and migraine headaches, uh, those with chronic lung conditions, including uh, Pam Pulliam's aunt Nancy, uh, Dee's mother Carolyn, Gary Lee, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northrup. Uh, pray for those who suffer from dementia and memory deterioration issues, those with Parkinson's disease, including my dad, uh, Carmen's dad, uh, Marcia's mother-in-law Vivian, my mother-in-law Beulah, uh, Kristen's friend Matt, Tim Workman, uh, all of these needing a miracle touch today. Dave and Oscar need continued prayer for the issues they have with their kidneys. Uh, Wanda Pennington, Sandra, Michael Parrott, Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Pam's granddaughter Savannah, Star, Amber Kay, Heather Spence, all with stomach issues. Let's keep praying for all those who suffer with back pain and hip pain. Um, and uh, pray for those who are facing upcoming surgeries. Chris Gragson with surgery, it appears to be imminent for him. Lois Link uh, waiting for surgery on her back in severe pain and has seen multiple doctors concerning this. Terry Nelson's oldest sister, Cindy, uh, having back surgery in the near future. Um, Ann Harbin is in need of pain relief and healing. Diane going through rehab, needs relief of pain. Judy Cookson needs relief of pain. Uh, Virgil Pulliam, Rose Brown, June Coffer, sister Judy's mom, needing healing of arthritis. Renee, Sammy, Sheila, and Chris have mobility problems. Chase and Sherry need healing of the liver. Sarah, Marty, Riley, and Tracy are struggling with MS and need a healing touch today, praying for Tracy's home to sell as well so that she can shorten her daily commute. Um, let's pray for all the children on our list. Uh, Elliot, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Emily, Bailey May, Baby G, Laura Lake, Tucker, Jenna, Abram, Abel, Tano, Brantley, Elsie, Gus's grandson, and Abby. Uh, we're praying for continued recovery for Anthony Sifford, Wayne Owens, Buddy Randolph, Billy Huey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Johnny's nephew Joey, Sue's nephew Dwayne, uh, Sarah Seaball, Sharon Burks, Paul Swinney, Jasmine, Arlo, Rose Brown, Nelda Rutledge, Pastor Christopher Dew, uh, and Brother David Kent. Uh, I watched a, a little video clip of Pastor Chris, who's a very talented uh, musician, and uh, with this trial he's been in with guillain barre syndrome, lost so much mobility, function of his, of his uh, hands, and just basically his whole body under attack. I watched a short video of him this weekend uh, for the first time he's been able to play the piano uh, because he's regained enough function in his right hand that he can, uh, he can form the chords now. So thank the Lord for that. We know God is moving in all of these situations and there are so many works of God that are progressive works and we need to continue to trust him to, to, until they are brought to uh, complete fulfillment. Uh, pray for these other health needs for Ann, Meredith, Robin, Cheryl, Sheila Sadler, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara, Janet, Judy Williams brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Michelle Clark, Devin Huff. Also, uh, remember uh, Kristen's friend Ann, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter uh, needing our prayers. I believe I already mentioned Ann and Meredith. And of course, Ann uh, is doing better, so we thank the Lord for his touch for her. Uh, continue to remember our Missouri missionaries. We have 12 families currently on status here in Missouri. Our Metro missionaries uh, need continued prayers. The Heishen family, global missionaries uh, in Germany. Uh, the Tom Evan Patterson families in Ukraine and Romania, the Tingleys in Haiti, uh, the Bryans returning home from Haiti for deputation uh, for over this next year. We're praying they'll be able to return back very, very soon uh, to uh, fulfill their ministry calling 
there. We pray for persecuted believers in access challenged nations. Um, we're believing for each unspoken request today for Venus's daughters, Judy's family, Johnny's family, Jessica, uh, Tracy, the Pulliam family. All of these we're believing for um, a move of God in these situations. We experienced such a strong move of God in our service yesterday, um, a, a lengthy altar service. As God just began to move, there was uh, just a spirit of intercession that swept over the place, and I believe great revival is going to come out of um, of that and the urgency that I believe God is, uh, has communicated to us through his word. And um, uh, we talk much about Bible prophecy in the message yesterday, which is a rarity for me. It's not really a subject I spend a lot of time on. Uh, as far as in, in preaching, but uh, yesterday I felt to do so, and uh, I believe that we're going to see much uh, fruit from that message and from the response to it. Uh, we need to remember all of our family members that don't know the Lord, um, prodigals who know the Lord but need to return home, um, many hindrances and barriers in people's minds that need, need to be uh, dealt with and Walls that need to be broken down, and prayer will accomplish this, uh, and faith will accomplish this in the name of Jesus. So let's remember these things. Uh, pray for the families on our list who uh, have lost loved ones they're burdened for, uh, families who have turmoil and strife within their family units and need reconciliation. Pray for revival at Mingo Job Corps. We had special prayer for Landon at church yesterday. He received a, a really good touch from the Lord. And we're praying that God will use him and help him to realize that, that uh, God wants to use him in that situation there to be a blessing and a minister to uh, the other students. Now, we need to pray for those who are battling depression, those in need of uh, salvation, as I mentioned. Uh, there are many with mental disorders, uh, bipolar, uh, struggling with suicidal thoughts, depression, uh, high levels of stress and anxiety in people's lives. And, of course, those who are battling addiction need our prayers for deliverance today. We're praying for Pastor Jason Maley's family as his father passed away recently. And they are working to raise up a work there in Peebley. Let's continue to uh, pray for them and also for the Holmes family uh, having suffered loss of Charlotte uh, last week as well. Our military personnel and their families, let's keep praying for them especially during these holiday seasons when many of them are separated from their families. Um, pray they would be encouraged and also protected as they um, protect our freedoms. Grace and Johnny transitioning recently to married life and the military life. Let's keep praying for them and for their good success in all of their endeavors. Pray for peace in Israel and for an end to the war in Ukraine as well. And don't forget those who are nursing homes today uh, who need uh, constant encouragement and of course we want to pray for their um, their care and management of their care that it would be competent and compassionate uh, good morning to each of you joining with us live here this morning um, I thank God for each of you good morning Jamie Joe Johnny Ben Sherman um, Pam Kristen uh, we're so glad to have each of you with us this morning, and I know others of you will be joining us along the way, and it's quite possible that we lost some of you in the mix today while you were waiting for me to sign on as I got here late. Um, Jamie Joe is asking us to pray for Stella, a four-year-old little girl who's on life support. The doctors don't know what, what happened, uh, but this all has transpired in a week's time, so this baby needs a miracle uh, today. Uh, pray for Robin and Carmen. This was a request submitted by Johnny this morning. God knows the needs there. Um, if I didn't mention Kristen, I see you on here now, and now Judy has found us, so uh, we're glad that everybody's getting uh, connected here this morning. And as I said, I know um, it was on my end this morning that I got started so late, but I'm glad that you're with us. Psalm 120, we finally uh, finished up Psalm 119 on Friday, and now we're moving on to Psalm 120, just uh, 30 chapters left. 
uh, in our devotion, 30 days of devotion left um, or thereabouts in the book of Psalms as we have been going through the entire book in our morning devotions. This is a song of degrees, Psalm 120. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Mesek, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. We must understand that there are some people that are just not peaceable. And it's hard to uh, not be at odds with people who are prickly as porcupines uh, and difficult to handle in any kind of circumstance. Even on a good day, there are just some people that what gets their juices flowing is controversy and, um, and drama. Um, you know, in the ministry, uh, we all experience this in probably a degree uh, uh, somewhat greater than just uh, the average person going through their daily life. But we've all been lied on. We've all had someone talk about us behind our backs. Um, like I said, for those of us in the ministry, it's just that we deal with a lot more uh, people, a lot more acquaintances, a lot more people um, that we cannot shut out of our circle as we could just in uh, as a family or in our uh, personal lives. So uh, I can identify with this very, very um, easily, but I know that all of you can identify with having someone stab you in the back or talk about you. Um, it feels terrible. And we have no control over what other people say, but the way we respond is up to us. It, if we're not careful, we'll become cynical. I remember a pastor, a friend of mine, uh, one time in the category of you know no good deed going unpunished um, you can work to help people and then those same people will accuse you of of uh, mishandling their situation or whatever and I remember one time um, a pastor friend of mine this was when I was very young in the ministry and I don't even know why I'm telling this story but I'll leave the names out but I've never forgotten that um, uh, took up an offering to help um, a family and then someone in the church accused him. He got new tires on his car the next week with his own money, but uh, they did not stop someone in the church from, when they saw him get new tires put on his car, accused him of taking the money that he had, uh, was going to give to this family and use it to put tires on his car, which of course was not true. But we don't have any control over what people say. Thankfully, most of the time, at least in our church, um, the people that do that do not, uh, will any degree of influence and we have a very unified church uh, family and so it's very hard for those kind of things to go anywhere but the psalmist here addressed this subject you know you're going to have people lie on you and you're going to have people uh, mistreat you and we can't control that but we can control how we respond to it so be careful how you respond uh, to those situations and just understand that we cannot um, control what other people do, but we can be a peacemaker. He said, I am for peace, they are for war, but we can maintain our right spirit. We can be a peacemaker. And Matthew 5 and 9 tells us that the peacemakers are going to be blessed. So the Bible tells us to, to walk peaceably with all men as, as far as we are able to do um, to pursue peace with everyone. Uh, but at the end of the day, we can't control what others do, but we can control our response. Keep a right spirit. Pray for those who despitefully use you, Jesus said, and you will always come out on top in the end. Amen. I'm thankful that the Lord is on our side today. We have no reason to fear what any human being or evil spirit <clears throat> excuse me, can do to us uh, because we are serving the Almighty God, and we are under the umbrella of His grace and protection. Let's pray that protection and that touch of God upon each one that we've mentioned today. Lord, in your name, 
we come to you right now. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for giving us uh, the ability to persevere in spite of whatever trials and storms of life that come our way. And I know, Lord, that there's someone today that's watching this video right now and praying with us uh, that's uh, in the throes of, of some situation in which they've been betrayed, in which they have uh, suffered at the hands of people they thought were their friends. And I pray today, God, that you would just touch their minds and their hearts and protect them from cynicism and help them not to become bitter and help them not to treat other people uh, differently and, and operate with a wall around their hearts um, as we know that would not be beneficial to the work of your kingdom. So bring healing today to those that are in this situation. We we'll give you thanks and praise today, Lord, as you touch our minds and our hearts. Hallelujah. We pray for Terry's need today. Lord, she needs healing in her body. All those we've mentioned today that are dealing with respiratory symptoms over the past week or two, we pray, God, for complete healing. We pray for Kay's friend, Cody, who's fallen from this height of 40 feet and needs your touch today. We pray, God, for uh, for Pat Wells, husband Les, and for Jessica Lopez, for Cheryl's uncle, for Marshall and Randy, for Robbie and Eddie and Maisie, for Jamie Joe, for Darlin' Virginia. Lord, you see all these needs today, these physical needs, these that we've mentioned today who are battling cancer. Lord, work miracles today. We believe, God, for miracles, signs, and wonders in your name. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and the praise. We know, Lord, that you're already doing the work. Those who are recovering from recent setbacks in their lives, Lord, we believe, God, for financial miracles. We believe for miracles of healing right now, for the completion of every work that you've begun in us. Hallelujah. We lift up Jim Ramey. Lord, we pray, in God, that this would not be cancer that they uh, found on his lungs. We pray, God, for healing of his congestive heart failure. All these others, Lord, with heart problems, those suffering with diabetes today, we believe for healing of shingles and migraines and chronic lung conditions, dementia, Parkinson's, kidney problems and stomach issues, those with back and hip pain, those facing surgery in the near future. Those, Lord, in need of relief of pain today and strength for physical therapy. We pray against arthritis in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, for those with mobility problems, those with liver issues today, those battling illness, these children that are sick in body today. Lord, reach down and touch them. Lord, each name that we've mentioned, God, you are well able. Hallelujah. You're well able, God, to deliver them, whether it be of just a recent illness with cold and flu and whatever's going around right now or those who are chronically ill among these children. Lord, we pray your touch and your deliverance from every affliction today. Hallelujah. We claim the promises of your word. Every promise in the book belongs to us, and we claim those promises today in Jesus' name. We believe for continued recovery today for those, Lord, who are in need. We pray, God, for Anne and Meredith for Judy's granddaughter and great-granddaughter. We lift up Robin and Cheryl, Sheila, Bob, Shirley, Jessica, Janet, George, Doug, Judy's brother, Michelle Clark, Devin Huff. Lord, touch them today. Be with our missionaries both globally and here in North America. Open doors today, God, for your word to be proclaimed. Hallelujah. Lord, we know your word tells us that the gospel of the kingdom must be preached in every nation, and then will the end come. Help us, God to reach these remaining nations and people groups today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for the spiritual and family needs among our own family and friends today and those that we rub shoulders with at work each and every day, those that we are dealing with in our sphere of influence. God, give us a wisdom, Lord, to reach them. Help us to know how to talk to them, how to identify with them, and how to minister to them, Lord. Hallelujah, those who are battling drug addiction. Lord, those that are battling other types of addiction. We pray for our young people, God, who are being constantly pulled by the world. Hallelujah, we pray, God, that you would protect their minds and their hearts today and help them, Lord, to remain committed to you, Lord, to 
navigate through these teenage years into adulthood successfully and spiritually intact. We thank you for the revival you're giving us among our young people. Oh, hallelujah. Have your way, God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Move in every mental uh, disorder today, God, that people are experiencing. Hallelujah. Every stress and, and strain upon marriages today. We pray, God, for strength for uh, marriages today, for healing in homes today, reconciliation between parents and their children who are at odds today, comfort for the hearts of those who have lost someone recently. Hallelujah. Our military personnel and their families, we hold them up today, believing God for your protection upon them, your strength for them, your encouragement, and Lord, especially those who are separated from their families during these holidays. God, be with them, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for peace in Israel today. We pray for an end to the war in Ukraine. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Taiwan and for all the tensions in different areas of our world today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for our leaders. God, give us leaders who will observe your word, who will not, uh, who will not walk in the paths of the unrighteous and the wicked, but those who will return to your word and will lead us, God, as a righteous nation once again. You are able, God, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. And we know it's according to the power that's working in us right now, working among this prayer group. I pray, God, that you would just unleash the force of prayer in our lives like never before. Help us, God, to tap. But throughout our day, God, help us to be in a mindset of prayer and ministry and to be ready on a moment's notice, to be instant, in season, out of season, Lord, to be a blessing to others. And we give you the praise and the glory for all these things. I know you're moving in these needs that have been mentioned this morning while we've gathered together. Hallelujah. Have your way in each one of those needs, I pray. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we lift you up and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, prayer team. We thank you for being a part of this uh, important time each weekday morning. We'll be back here again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m., ready for another time of devotion and reaching heavenward uh, with the needs that uh, so many are submitting to us. Uh, well over 250 needs we're praying for each day, and we want to continue to uh, be a blessing. God bless you in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow at 7.30 a.m.